Hi, my name is Mark Toth. I'm the business development manager for uh, TI's audio touch and sensing products. And what we're uh, showing today here from CES 2013 is a really cool new uh, cooling technology that's uh, it's developed uh, by GE's R&D Labs. It's an advanced cooling solution that lets you cool in a really small space, uh, a height of only three millimeters is needed compared to uh, fans that require five millimeters or more. So in today's new electronic systems that uh, are getting thinner and thinner and having less space, this technology can really help the cooling, uh, the cooling of all these uh, advanced processors. Uh, the TI technology that we use here is our uh, piezoelectric haptics drivers that provide a really high voltage because the, the cooling device requires that high voltage to get the optimal performance. And our uh, TI device has a really small solution size. It runs from a, a low voltage supply and provides the high voltage needed and uh, makes it really cost effective to implement this solution into a uh, advanced notebook, tablet, uh, whatever small thin system you can imagine. So I'm going to throw it over to my esteemed colleague Peter from uh, GE and he's going to talk about the, uh, the technology. Uh, well, thank you, Mark, uh, for the introduction. Uh, so we're here at CES with our friends from, uh, from Texas Instruments uh, with our dual piezo cooling jet uh, technology. Uh, this technology provides cooling flow for any device. Uh, could be an ultrabook, could be a powerful tablet, could be a set-top box, could be telecom. This device is only one millimeter thick, and it's the thinnest cooling solution available. When you install it, we recommend a space of three millimeters because it is necessary to have some movement uh, around the jet. But it's a thinnest cooling solution available that can fit in uh, any of these products and provide cooling uh, in the 8 to, uh, to 15 uh, watt cooling range. Uh, we're going to show how this, uh, this concept works with the strobe light. So we're going to actually time the, um, the light at this device. So typically this device runs uh, somewhere between 100 to 170 hertz. Uh, but with the strobe light we can slow that down so you can actually see the displacement of the device. And it works like a, a bellows pump system. Uh, very similar to your lungs or similar to a jellyfish uh, swimming. One orifice uh, moving a tremendous amount of flow. You can put your hand here, you can actually feel the flow. And um, uh, this solution is unique because it's the thinnest solution available to provide this kind of airflow. And we're using uh, the DI Haptics driver right now as a recommended system package uh, for this solution.